Hello, my name is Akane Chiba. I'm a virtual streamer, virtual YouTuber, whatever you want to call me. I do a lot of 3D model working, so I kind of understand how things more or less work. I have a very lazy man's way to do it because I'm not a professional. So I know people have asked me before, how are you able to make these work? Well, I will show you how today my lazy guide to doing it. Don't use this as like a be all end all. It's not the best method to doing things. There's other ways to do it, but it's just the workflow that has worked for me. So we'll get right over to it. What you're gonna learn in today's video is very quick, is uh, how to sculpt uh, clothing to your model, as well as uh, weight painting, a very simple weight paint transfer, which is kind, it works kind of, it's a very lazy way to do it, but it works. And you might need to make corrections and so on and so forth later on. I, I, I do not recommend doing this with skirts. I've only used it with shorts, pants, shirts, and so on and so forth. Well, anyway, let's get right into the video instead of holding up time here. As you can see, we have our basic model here. We're gonna move into the part of getting the, this shirt to fit to the model. This is the nice really model. It's a nice failure model, actually prefer. So you're gonna go to object mode and you're gonna turn it to sculpt mode at the top left corner. Then you're gonna scroll on down to you see where it says the grab tool. Once you've grabbed that at the very top, I increase the strength to 10, I mean to one or 100, and I get a bigger radius. Make sure that mirror modifier is on. It's very important. And from there, we just start the sculpting process. Now, as you can see, I'm sculpting the shirt here to it. It's not too hard. It's a little tedious and you want to make sure that your brush strokes are really big. The more you're zoomed in, the more precise it is going to be for you to do it. The more you're zoomed out, the more you're going to be able to grab. At least that's the way I have mine set up, as you can see here. It's just how I have things set up. I guess a couple of things that you might want to keep in mind while you're doing this is that you want to make sure you're doing out, your brush strokes are out. You don't really want to do in unless you're trying to adjust something that way, but you always want to bring your brush strokes outwards. You know, it's easier that way. At least that's, that's what I do. It's what I do. It's what I, just works for me. More or less at this point in time, we've got a lot of the sculpting done. It's easy. Now we're going to go back to object mode. Now we need to remove the weights off the sweater. So click on the sweater. Then you're going to go down to the vertex groups area, click on the down arrow, and then you're going to delete all unchecked groups. This will get rid of all the weights so we don't have to deal with anything. Click the body mesh, then shift click onto the shirt mesh, top left, weight paint mode, weights, transfer weights. Now we're going to have to do a couple of options on here. Change it to nearest face interpolated, and then where it says by name, and we're basically done. That's it. As you can see, that stuff was generated. Now, a couple of things you have to do because I still have the armature attached. So obviously if I try to move it down and pair it, it's not gonna work, it's gonna go back to it. So what I like to do, right, is I'll unhide the armature. As you can see, I'm making a couple of mistakes here. <laughs> Stand by, don't worry, we got this. Akane, come on. You're gonna select the armature. Oops, unhide the armature. Select it, select hierarchy, control A, all transforms. From there, you can select the armature now and you can delete it. That's gonna put the mesh in its own area. Bring it back up into the collection, hold shift, and then it's gonna parent it to that armature. Once you've done that, go ahead, you know, rejoin all your meshes. And that's basically it. Essentially, we've just completed it. That's all you had to do. It's pretty simple. Now you can do the pose mode to check it to make sure it's still working. But other than that, you've essentially got that shirt we painted to your body. And it's pretty simple from there what we have to do. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'm always available. You can get my Twitter or whatever have you. This is Akane Chiba signing off. Have a good one, guys.